Welcome back to another big fun show, but this time we're back from Monte Carlo. It was an incredible experience, and an amazing Peace Jam Youth Conference, a fabulous Hero Awards ceremony, and the premiere of our brand new film, Rivers of Hope. And Rivers of Hope is up there on Google Play, and you can watch it. We had a great time. There was such a fantastic reception to the movie. There was such a fantastic reception to the Peace Jam event that we had. The town went nuts. The kids loved it. And there was all kinds of different people there. And so it was quite a success. Quite a wonderful time. And um, we learned a lot and uh, we'll continue doing so. And we have a video. We captured it. So we can share it with you today. So please. Right here and now. Check out the video. And if you want to go to Monte Carlo with us next year, make sure you put your acts of peace up on our website, onebillionacts.org. Hi, I'm Giacomo Bonafina, and we're here in Monte Carlo for the first One Billion Acts of Peace Heroes Award Ceremony. The One Billion Acts of Peace campaign is a global movement of everyday people performing and then submitting their thoughtful actions to onebillionacts.org. Launched one year ago here in Monte Carlo, the campaign has already had more than 4 million acts of peace submitted. The acts of peace are based on 10 key focus areas defined by the Nobel Peace Laureates of Peace Jam. We have asked Shade Mang Tan from our founding partner Guru and Peace Jam's co-founders Ivan Suvanjev and Don Engel a few questions. Let's hear what they have to say. What kind of world do you want to live in? Ask yourself that. Imagine fulfilling or creating one billion peace projects worldwide with 13 Nobel Peace Laureates. These, my friends, have the potential to change the world. And that's why I'm here. So I think the reason to get involved is because what you do is going to matter. You're going to become an empowered agent of change. You're going to have technology you've never had before. And all of these actions are going to be aggregated. It's all going to be part of one big campaign. So you're not doing something in isolation. All of these acts are going to work together in these 10 key areas as defined by the Nobel laureates to transform the future for the world. Every April, we highlight the best acts of peace submitted to onebillionacts.org for open voting worldwide. Five winners are then selected, and they receive their prize from a Nobel Peace Laureate at the Monte Carlo Television Festival. Nobel Peace winner Adolfo Perez Esquivel of Argentina is here with us this year to award our favorite projects for 2015. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first annual Hero Award Ceremony from Monte Carlo. Tonight, we're celebrating the first year of Peace Jam's One Billion Acts of Peace campaign, and we will be honoring our five Hero Awards winners. This award-winning acts of an inspiration to people around the world and demonstrate what can be done to address the challenges in our own communities and beyond. Before I start, I want to thank uh, the sponsors of One Billion Acts of Peace campaign, Google, Wells Fargo, Chet Bourne, Hill Knowlton, and the Point Sky. With their help, we have completed a successful year of our campaign. More than four million acts of peace have been registered in our website, onebillionactsofpeace.org. <laughs> and the campaign itself has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Now, I am pleased to introduce to you the chair of the Peace Jam Foundation Board, who has done so much to make all these incredible Peace Jam events in Monte Carlo possible. Please join me in a warm round of applause for Claudia Abate Dabat. It is indeed an honor to be with you again this evening. I would like to acknowledge and thank His Serene Highness, Prince Albert II, Honorary President of the Monte Carlo Television Festival, the Festival Organizing Committee, Mr. Laurent Pionis, Event Manager Lara Isodo, and staff for making it possible to continue our unique partnership. The TV Festival on one hand, and the princely government, who is tonight represented by Madame Isabel Bonal, have united youth multimedia in the inspiration of the Nobel Peace Prize. I wish to also highlight the tremendous support of Madame Muriel Bubio, the Monaco Government Tourism Office, the Iman Foundation, the Association 
Monaco Argentina, the US Monaco Economic Forum, for their invaluable contributions. Tonight is the culmination of a Peace Jam two-day youth conference. A selection of Monaco and international students were able to exchange ideas and present projects that represent their vision of a better world directly to Nobel Peace Laureate Adolfo Perez Esquivel. I would like you all to please rise together with your teachers to be acknowledged. On the occasion of the 55th birthday of the Monte Carlo Television Festival, it is clear that it is achieving its important mission. By creating the festival in 1961, Prince Rene III of Monaco wished to encourage a new art form in the service of peace and understanding between men. And this is precisely what Peace Jam co-founders Don Engel and Ivan Savanjev have also accomplished. They have both been nominated 15 times for the Nobel Peace Prize in recognition for their incredible work for peace worldwide. And it is my pleasure to introduce them to you this evening. We are thrilled to be here tonight to honor and show the film of one of the most incredible Nobel Peace Prize winners on earth, Adolfo Perez Esquivel. Adolfo is an incredible man. He has tremendous courage, unwavering integrity, and he's an amazing inspiration to people worldwide, as you will see in the film that we're going to be sharing together tonight, Rivers of Hope, our new film. But before we begin the film, we want to ask our special guest, our incredible Nobel Peace Prize winner, to please come onto the stage with us and to help us to honor those who have had the best acts of peace in the first year of our One Billion Acts of Peace campaign. So everyone, please join me in a round of applause for the one and onlyest person Nobel Peace Prize winner in the world who just rocks my socks, Adolfo Perez Esquivel. That's it. ceremony begin. I want to introduce our first award winner for best nonprofit, Asana. Our planet is now in the midst of a sixth mass extinction of animals and plants. And unlike the natural disasters of the past, the current crisis has almost completely been caused by us, ourselves. As human beings continue to develop and exploit previous untouched lands, many of our natural ecosystems are becoming endangered. In Costa Rica, a group of people have come together to create ASANA, a nonprofit organization dedicated to solving this problem. They are trying to preserve one of the last remaining wild spaces left in their country, the path of the Tapir, biological corridor. The natural ecosystem faces a wide range of threats, including electrical infrastructure, the building of dams, and the construction of highways. And the tapir itself is now facing extinction. Asana is addressing this challenge with a broad, comprehensive approach. They have prepared a proposal to declare the Savegre River watershed as UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. They are reintroducing the tapir to the wild and educating local communities about the importance of preserving the natural ecosystem. They have succeeded in convincing their government to reroute electrical transmission lines. They are teaching clean water preservation techniques to the residents of 10 different communities in the corridor. They have established a trust and a process 
for certifying important private-owned properties that will form the backbone of the corridor. And they are saving marine turtles in their nursery, almost 100 nests per year since 2011. Accepting the award is Andrea Herrera, Executive Director of Asana. Andrea, please join Adolfo and Don, and Don to receive your award. Now I want to introduce our winner for Best Business Act, Wolf Tracks, Walk for a Dog. Every year, almost 7.6 million animals are taken in by local shelters in the United States. Hundreds of thousands of these animals go into shelters but never come out. Overcrowding and scarce resources means that many of them must be euthanized. In Baltimore, Maryland, some business leaders, who are also animal lovers, came up with a novel way to help solve this problem. They have created a new mobile app that allows people to raise money for the local animal shelter simply by walking their dogs. The mobile app is called Walk for a Dog, and it enables dog owners across the USA to walk their dogs for a cause. Hundreds of thousands of people downloaded the app in 2014 the first year of operation. By designating a local shelter and logging the time that they walk their dog, animal lovers were able to raise $65,000. Wolf Tracks donated this amount to thousands of different animal shelters across the country. And things are just getting started. <laughs> Accepting the award is Doug Hexter, Wolf Tracks co-founder. Now I want to introduce our winner for Best University Act, Stratford University. Students at Stratford University in Fairfax County, Virginia, became concerned when they read about a sharp rise in poverty in their local community over the past decade. Over 180,000 students are enrolled in Fairfax County schools, and 29% of these students are now living at or below the official U.S. poverty level. So these young university students put their heads together and decided to create an annual event that would help the children and families who were struggling in their community. They created a new program, an annual drive to collect much needed school supplies for local children. And then they began to collect notebooks, pencils, crayons, scissors, binders, and much more plus the backpacks to put them in. They were able to put together more than 3,000 backpacks full of school supplies, which they then donated to 50 local area schools. And next year, the students at Stratford University hope to do even more. Accepting the award is Marianne Schertz, Stratford University Executive Vice President.
to introduce our winner for Up and Coming Peacemaker. Promotora Mexicana de Valores Deportivos AC. The so-called war on drugs in Mexico, which accelerated in 2006, has already claimed more than 100,000 lives, and the government estimates that about 25,000 people have disappeared in that time period, while the violence has claimed the lives of some police officers and army members, the vast majority of those who have died and disappeared are ordinary citizens. The huge surge in violence has created a humanitarian crisis as people try to live out their daily lives in what has effectively become conflict zones. In Tampico, Mexico, a local organization dedicated to creating peace through sports called Promotora Mexicana de Valores Deportivos decided that they had to do something more than the regular sports programming to address this crisis. Because so many people living in these violent conflict zones are poor, with very limited access to medical care, Promotora Mexicana de Valores Deportivos decided that they would do something new. They began to work to provide medical assistance. Then they gathered medical supplies to donate to those who are working to provide medical care. Promotora Mexicana de Valores Deportivos was able to provide hundreds of wheelchairs, walkers, crutches, and canes. They were also able to supply a large number of first aid kits. They are hoping that their efforts will help to heal the local community and those who have been affected by the violent conflict and rising crime. Accepting the award is Executive Director Victor Eduardo Tello Pesina. Let me introduce you our final winner for Best Youth Act, Ghana Health Campaign. Last year, a cholera outbreak hit Ghana, West Africa, with 17,000 cases and 150 confirmed deaths. It was the worst outbreak of cholera in the city since 1982. Cholera is an acute illness caused by a bacteria, causing rapidly progressive dehydration and even death. The disease is caused and spread by poor sanitary conditions and the lack of good hygienic practices. A group of high school students in Ghana who are part of the Peace Jam program decided to do something to help stop the spread of this devastating disease. Armed with brooms, shovels and a refuse truck in a suburb of Akara, they cleared the gutters of filth and then they sanitized the gutters. They also held a public forum to educate members of the community about the importance of good sanitary conditions and practices. And their campaign was so well received that they extended it to include an awareness campaign about Ebola virus, which is another devastating disease that has engulfed and overwhelmed many communities in the region of the world. Accepting the award on behalf of the youth in Ghana is Brian Kelly. So unfortunately, the, uh, the children of Ghana could not join us today, so I am more than humbled to accept it on their behalf. Uh, I mean, the work that they've done is incredible in a region that has been torn apart by war and now Ebola, cholera. I think it's amazing that such young people are taking um, such proactive measures to truly change the world. So I'm excited to announce I'm personally going to hand deliver this uh, to Ghana later this year. And I've been talking with Peace Jam uh, and hopefully we've got some exciting new initiatives that we will announce maybe when we go to Ghana. So on behalf of uh, thepointsguy.com, congratulations, and I look forward to visiting Ghana.
now I would like to invite all the Hero Award winners to join Adolfo, Don, and Ivan center stage. Let's now have another huge round of applause for all of our 2015 Hero Awards. Remember to share your acts of peace on our website, onebillionacts.org, and maybe you can be the next winner here in Monte Carlo. This is Giacomo Bonafina. Thanks for joining. See you next year.